come back. We've got our lamb. But let me give you some secrets just in preparing lamb, steak, veal, any type of saute work. Um, if you want some very intensified meat flavoring, I'm going to give you two important things to do. Number one, season the meat. I'm going to season this with a little salt. And I'm going to do this on both sides so that uh, the seasonings will be there no matter which side of the meat that the people might taste. Okay, then I'm going to add a little pepper, just like that. Go around there in a circle. Okay, the second one is going to be, I've got a pan back here and I'm going to turn the heat up on here so that I can start, so that a little get hot there. I'm going to add a little butter. Now what I will do is I will take equal parts uh, virgin uh, olive oil and butter and that's what I'm going to sear this meat off with. I'm just going to put just a little bit of this in there, just like that. Just enough to coat the uh, bottom of the pan. Put this back over on the side and let that get hot. Okay, as I was saying before, I want to let this get nice and hot. Turn this up all the way. So that the minute the meat hits the pan, it starts to brown it off. Why you want to brown it off? You want to sear those juices in there. And that's when you go out to that five-star restaurant and you taste those big, juicy, delicious steaks. It's because they sear that meat off. Now they can sear it on top of the oven and they can also sear that meat in top of, on top of the broiler. They have broilers that they might sear that meat. Um, you can also sear meat in grilling too. Uh, when you've got that grill real hot, when you lay that meat down there, it just sears that meat right off. Now I hear this pan starting to sizzle a little bit back here. So I'm gonna have a look at it back there. Now we get ready to put that in there. Um, another thing, another good point, uh, to get a, some really good flavor out of the sauce that's going to be going with your meat because most of the time when you sear those meats off sometimes you want to have a little sauce to go along with it. and I'm going to show you how to get all that flavor right out of that saucepan. Let's see. Okay, I see it starting to smoke. You can kind of see it starting to smoke a little bit there. We're just going to add this right in there just like that. And just let them brown. Now, sometimes I would just let them set. The reason why I let them set, to let it go ahead and brown. Because if you move it around, it starts to make the meat sweat. Another good thing is, don't see all that room in the pan, leave some room in the pan. If you put too many pieces of meat in there, it's gonna start sweating, and then you won't get that brown on the bottom of the meat. Okay, let that go. Now, once we take this out of the pan, I don't want to get me a, a saucer here. I think I just put that right back in there. That won't hurt it. Once I take that meat out of there, I'm going to put it right back in here. And then I'm going to saute my vegetables, add my herbs, and I'm going to deglaze it with a little Madeira wine. Okay, now let's add, now I'll tell you the ingredients to this sauce. We got some shallots, some garlic, and the herbs, you can use four major herbs depending on what type of herbs that you like. Now I'm going to add the shallots first, just like that, and the garlic, and I'm going to stir it in, just like that here. Now the combination of herbs that I have here, I'm just going to let that saute a little bit, turn the heat back up. There you go, turn that heat back up. Now the herbs that I have are the uh, capers, basil, rosemary, and a little, uh, I think that's a little thyme there. That's the four that I got. Now, I'm gonna add those right in here, just like that. And I'm gonna mix that up, just like that. Now I've also got some uh, meat glaze that I'm gonna add to this. Add my Madeira wine. Mmm, that looks good. Just let that saute a little bit there. 
and let that reduce. Now what's going to happen is that's going to reduce and all you're going to have is the essence of the Madeira wine. Now I've got a meat glaze. The meat glaze has little seasonings in there and the meat glaze is basically some chicken, uh, I'm sorry, beef base diluted with a little water and what we do is we thicken that with a little cornstarch and you can call that some meat glaze. And I'm going to add that right in there just like that. Shake that around like and just let that reduce. The meat is in the oven. I'm getting ready to take that out in a few minutes. That's reducing to a nice little consistency where it sticks right over the meat when I set it out this evening. Now we're going to go right on to our cherry jubilee. Now this is my favorite part of the meal, the Cherry's Jubilee. Now I guarantee if you fix something like this, you're going to have some great results. Now first of all, we're going to go over the ingredients. I've got some Bing cherries. I've got the cherry juice I basically split half and half. I've got some in this bowl and I've got some in a uh, sauce pot back in the, here in the back where I'm going to thicken that up a little bit with some cornstarch and um, uh, some of this juice here. But anyway, my ingredients are is, is some caraco and rum, which is some light rum, which is right over here, sugar, the cornstarch, and also some butter. Now I'm going to uh, heat this up, start out by heating that up. So by the time I mix this up, this is my sugar, my sugar, and my cornstarch. Now this is basically just to dissolve the cornstarch so it'll make it a little easier going into the uh, sauce back here in the back. Okay, or should I say the juice back in the back. All right, just mix that in just like that. Just try to get as many of those lumps that you can out of there. Now that's starting to, starting to boil. All right, I need that, so just add that right in here, right in here, just like this. Just enough until you start seeing it thickening up a little bit. That's coming really, really nice. Good. All right, I'm gonna let that simmer. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because I don't want it to boil, but I do want it to simmer. Now, this, we have my Suzette pan. Now, on every show, I always tell everybody before they prepare something like this, make sure you have this type of equipment. You don't want to try to use this at home. Okay, let's light the burner. There you go. And I'm going to add my butter, just like that, right off into the pan. And I'm going to let that melt down just like that. And I'm going to add my Bing cherries right off in there. Get a little spatula and just melt this around. Okay. I'm gonna add just a little of sauce in there. Just like that. Mmm. Man, doesn't that look good? Now that's hot. Now what I've done here, because the pan is taking a little longer to heat up, I added a little of that sauce in there just to heat it up just a little bit there. Yes, 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 yes. Now, now I'm gonna add my rum. Racco, right off into there, and guess what? There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Starting to flame off in there. Now you see that? Now that flame is cooking off in there. Now it just went out. Just gonna stir it off in there a little bit. Now this looks really nice at night. It's beautiful at night. You got some nice music going on. Thank you, Tim. And just gonna ladle some of this red on here, just like that. Put a little of that juice on there. Now, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Shannon's joining me for dinner tonight. Shannon? Thank you, Nick. How's it look? Looks great. Look nice? Well, let me tell you what I've got. I've got a Caesar salad, and if you notice, I've got a little Parmesan cheese sprinkled right over the top. A little crouton 
that I've sauteed in a little olive oil. And then I've made some lamb, seared off with a little fresh herbs. It smells delicious. Put a little sauce on there just to get a little extra flavor. And then finally, I have some cherries jubilee. And I thought maybe we might share that. Sounds good. Well, let's have a toast. Bon appetit from the Midnight Gourmet.